Where people would once spend liberally on flashy costumes and oversized pumpkins, many are now making their own costumes or downsizing on pumpkins. Um, I've noticed a few stores I try to go to have cut back on their Halloween like supplies. We recently had a door thing stolen, and I went back to the place I purchased it from, and they told me that they've cut back because not as many people are buying this year. Bob Marsh's family has owned a pumpkin farm for a century, and he remembers when pumpkins went for five cents a piece. This year, Marsh has noticed a pullback in spending since the recession began, but he says people are getting value from pumpkins and squashes by turning them into hearty soups and pies. Like now, with the economy a little tougher, I, this year I noticed that we, we get a lot of people to come out, but they're not spending quite as much, but they're still going away happy. They're they're uh, they're getting pumpkins, and, and maybe they're not buying quite a bigger bigger pumpkins, or maybe not as many. I see people buying a lot of like more squash and stuff that they can uh, use for decorations, and then they could eat and make pies out of afterwards. So, in other words, people are shopping a little more thriftier than they used to be. It's Halloween, so you buy a pumpkin. Uh, you know, whether you got money or not, you know, you just have to get a smaller pumpkin. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, just make, make your own costume, I guess. Low finances did not dampen spirits at the 39th annual Half Moon Bay Art and Pumpkin Festival. Hope was in the air as families and couples strolled down Main Street enjoying the celebration. The festival began in 1971 as a way to revive the town's center and has become a destination for people all over Northern California to kick off the Halloween season.